Welcome, Cancer, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition being messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels tonight. To grow it is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Cancer. Let's see. Spirit, what clear messages want to come through in regards to a person that is connected to Cancers in love? What can you reveal to me about the energy of this person that is connected to cancer in love? What does cancer need to know about the person that is connected to them in love at this time? Please bring forth clear messages. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you reveal to me? Say one more message, please, Spirit, about the person connected to Pisces. No, cancer, sorry. Cancer in love. All right. So I see her unrequited love, and let me go ahead and pick up one card off the floor. It's letting go, humble, and friend friendly and friendship okay so you know what i'm getting here cancer okay your your person is humble that um they're letting go of a friendship that's what i'm seeing because there there wasn't any love in that connection that's what i'm feeling and um it was just passion okay there is uh i don't know if this was a hookup with somebody um, but I have a feeling that um, they're actually letting you go or you're letting them go and both you guys um, have come to a, an acceptance of what is okay it was just like a friends with benefits energy that's what I'm getting guys okay so let's see um, what is a what is a clarification on this spirit please bring forth clear messages or regards this person that is connected to cancers in love I'm also getting that, um, Cancer, you could have a friend that is really humble, that, you know, they've let you go because, uh, the love was one-sided, okay? Perhaps this person loved you, um, and maybe there was, you know, some kind of an energy here where, you know, love wasn't expressed on both sides, okay? I have a feeling that maybe one person was expressing it or maybe none at all, okay? Take it as a resonance, but I have a feeling like there's a friend here. So let's see. Let, let's get more details. Okay, so beneath the surface, we have devotion. Okay, so it's kind of like in contrast with the unrequited love, right? Um, beneath the surface, your person is very devoted. Okay, but maybe the love was one-sided. I have a feeling that whoever this person is, this is your friend. Your friend possibly didn't tell you that they loved you. Okay, um, and what I'm seeing here is we have compromise in reverse. The answer is no and also union and reverse i have a feeling that um with you and your friend you guys are not together and your person is really humble okay that um that there was no compromise so they've let you go so i have a feeling like there is like a 
a situation where you and this person uh, really didn't see eye to eye maybe it's because somebody didn't really express their truth about uh, a connection maybe it was just a friendship okay and the friendship was obviously leading to more but uh, whatever that more is um, no one was really talking about it okay or maybe you guys were just pushing away the big talk about this whole situation that's what I'm saying now your person is being humbled by letting the situation go and possibly going with the flow I have a feeling that uh, whoever this friend is they they're the devoted type okay I have a feeling like I don't know it's just there's like a connection here but nobody is saying anything about it yeah it was just passion and now they're missing you okay so let's see Barry, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to this person that is connected to cancer? How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? You know, also what I'm feeling is that maybe your person set healthy boundaries, you know, because if there was no compromise in the situation between you and them, you know, the answer was no. They're very humbled by this experience. Okay. Yes, you guys are not in union, but this is a friend. Okay. But I have a feeling that um, your person really wanted more than a friendship. Okay. Somebody here, I really feel like um, had multiple options. I don't know that's the energy that I'm picking up on but this person is very devoted to you if you would open up to this person okay I have a feeling that cancer maybe you're the one that's really closed off and your person really feels like you know um, maybe they can't really offer you love now you can do role reversal okay where um, your person um, told you that you know um, that you guys are just friends okay and they they want their options open take it as it resonates okay but that's what i'm seeing but i really feel like this is a, a person that is telling you that they were devoted to you but you know you guys didn't see eye to eye when it comes to love that's what i'm seeing you know this person is your friend um so let's see So, you know, maybe you're dealing with a Libra. <laughs> um, but what I'm getting here is that your person is in their head about a situation, okay? And um, they're just tired of fighting, okay? If there are other people in the way, um, they didn't want to compete against other people. So I have a feeling that automatically, you know, maybe it was you, Cancer, that you had multiple options and um, your person didn't want to compete with other people, but it could be role reversal, okay? Now, um, they really recognize that there was no commitment here, okay? You guys were not seeing each other in a spiritual sense. Uh, like their perspective and your perspective were two different things and um, things weren't growing, okay? um things became stagnant that's what i'm seeing and here is your person okay uh they're really trying to balance out their emotions now for some maybe you're dealing with the sag energy um who are this person is they definitely wanted to have a new beginning but they needed time to really figure things out okay because nothing in the past really worked out and um, now they receive some sort of truth okay that they love you okay maybe for some they want to apologize to you um but this is like a token of love so um maybe that they want to tell you that you know um they were in a unrequited love situation but they were devoted to you this whole time i mean that that's the vibration i'm picking up so if you feel like this is resonating with you please please comment down below because what i'm seeing is that Whoever this person is, okay, your person wants to come through and communicate, you know, how they're feeling. They know that, you know, it lacks closure. It feels like unfinished business, right? And um, there was emotional manip manipulation. So 
I have a feeling like somebody had some third party situation and the karmic got in the way of this connection. Now, I really sense that there was some kind of a friendship, but the friendship was, you know, kind of like leading on to like a deeper romantic connection. Okay. And I, I'm seeing that there's a karmic here that was emotionally manipulating um, the situation. Okay, either with your person or with you. And um, they were holding back. I feel like they were holding on to this uh, relationship or situation. And they realized that they were being selfish, you know, because this person felt like they were stuck between you and someone else. Okay, and the truth hurts, you know, and that's why they cut you out. I don't know. I really feel like you're done with some kind of air sign over here. <laughs> and, um, you know, and I really feel like, you know, the words hurt, okay, that, you know, they were so devoted to you, they were in an unrequited, it was like the one-sided love connection was getting to them, and that you guys were not in union, okay, and, you know, they really felt like, you know, there, there was no balance in this relationship. I really feel very strong Libra vibes, okay, uh, it doesn't have to be, but I definitely am picking up on that, um, and I see that, um, you know, your person had to make a decision, you know, should they stay or should they go? You know, maybe they have to, uh, you know, go into a different location because I see here the mountains and also water. Okay, so maybe they're thinking about going to a different place. Um, also, they really feel like, you know, they're just, they don't have anything else to give. Okay, um, I also feel like, you know, they didn't want to give uh, to you financially like they didn't want this to be um, a relationship built off of material stability that's what I'm getting Wow um, also yeah you know they're just tired of being left out in the cold so instead of feeling like they're not good enough okay they're getting out of this lack mentality because just because they weren't giving to you on a, a physical level doesn't mean that, you know, that was all there was, okay? Because this person was devoted to you uh, emotionally, you know? It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about, like, you know, um, you know, just offering you a sense of a security, you know? And what I'm saying, yeah, look, they just want to offer you love, now, for some, maybe you're dealing with another water sign, um, but they want to make peace, okay? Uh, I have a feeling like within a month, maybe you're going to uh, come to terms with this unrequited love with this person, and um, they have been watching you, okay? Uh, and they see that, you know, when it comes to love, nothing is working out, you know, there's fighting, there's competition, there's other people, like, dang, this feels like a cat fight, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this is, guys, but, um, yeah, look, we have the Libra coming out. Like, this is no justice, right? Somebody, I really feel like somebody want to cut somebody out because they, they were done, um, a disservice, right? There's no justice in a situation. Somebody came in, laid down the law. You know, there was another karmic situation that was emotionally manipulating you, okay? Because I feel like cancer, okay? You're, you're kind of, um, emotional yourself, okay? So if there was a karmic that was playing onto your emotions because they knew how you operated, okay? Um, and then here comes somebody who was very clear, cutthroat, you know, wanted to, you know, show you the truth about, you know, the other person, okay, because that's what it seems like, um, your person feels like, you know, this isn't right, so I have a feeling that you're dealing with two different energies here, okay, now, they needed time to really reflect on this, okay, so I have a feeling like there was some time, a separation between you and them, and, um, your person was holding themselves back, also, because if they didn't hold themselves back, okay, they would have ripped you a new one, that's what I'm picking up for today, guys. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, for some, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Um, they've really thought about this long and hard. Okay. That the karmic interfered in the connection because the karmic had demands on you. And I really feel like cancer, you were playing, oh, I'm playing with the karmic, right? Um, what's the word? You know, you were, um, playing along with the karmic's needs, 
Okay, your other person here, this air sign, wanted to tell you what the heck was going on. I feel like this is a friend. Okay, who are this friend is? I uh, was trying to tell you about this karmic, how the karma was manipulative. Okay, and um, and yeah, so you know that's why you can really you know you were spreading yourself too thin now. Cancer, if you're the type of person to like give towards X, Y, and Z, and you're just overly giving, and everyone deserves love from from you, Cancer, your person sees that you're just over giving, okay? Um, and that's why they let you go. They're like, you know what, you know, I could see that you have a big heart, but no, they're saying no, okay? If you don't want union with your friend, okay, when they were devoted towards you, but you're, you're sitting here giving out handouts towards everyone, you know, they were trying to, to, okay, so this person's love, okay, instead of words of, you know, I love you, and they possibly could feel this, okay, but they just, they haven't had a chance to get around to tell this to you, because I feel like uh, they're, um, their love is acts of service, okay? Um, they, they really want to help you in other ways other than, you know, um, giving you money, okay? This person really cares about you. That's what I'm saying. That's why they're so hard on you at the same time. But Cancer, I really feel like, you know, you're taking their harshness for, you know, um, I don't know. It's like you don't want to you don't want to deal with that. So the easier thing is to deal with the emotional man manipulation of the karmic situation that you're currently dealing with. That's what it seems like now. Like I said, this could be role reversal, but I'm just telling you how I see it. Yeah, there's definitely a karmic situation that needs closure. Okay, and it has to end. Okay, for some, maybe you're done with the Scorpio. Okay, and I see that, you know, they're hurt over this third party. This has already happened in the past. So there is definitely some sort of third party interference in this situation. And that's why things are not stable. Okay. Um, so they've made a choice that they want to hurry up and come in. Okay. Uh, after, you know, sitting with themselves, trying to figure out what it is that they want. And they want to offer you a message. Okay. Let's see what else. Because I have a feeling like your person wants to tell you something. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm seeing here is that your person is thinking that. You know. They're just really tired of this third party. Okay. They're tired of the fact that you won't turn around to see them for who they are. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm hearing that, you know, why won't you look at me? You know, why would you look at this karma, but you can't look at me? You know, um, this person has done nothing but been very devoted to you. Okay. Like my heart is hurting as I'm saying this. That's what I'm seeing, you know, and they're not happy. You know, they don't understand why you couldn't see, you know, their light, their truth. And, um, also what I'm seeing here is the star in reverse. Okay. They feel like it's hopeless. Now for some, maybe you're done with an Aquarius. Okay. Uh, let's see. And for others, maybe a Leo. Um, how do they feel? They really feel like, okay, the, the ego got to the best of them, okay? Now, that wasn't their highest self, and they understand this. Um, but they did because they also had to protect themselves, okay? Um, you know, they decide to let go, okay? That's what I see here. That's how they're feeling. They are humbled by this experience. They they have, like, an awareness, you know? They weren't 100% correct, okay? They understand that. But um, what I'm seeing is that they, they really feel that... You, you're everything that they ever hoped and wished for, okay? There's only one thing that's missing, and it's that one cup, okay? That's what I'm saying, and um, they want to give that cup to you. They've been working on all of these cups, you know? Um, they're emotionally pretty much fulfilled, but um, there's still that one cup that's missing. That's what I feel. So uh, what is it that they want? Now, they keep thinking about the past, okay? This person is very spiritual. Now, you could be done with a divine feminine energy here. Your person is really connected to their higher self. And I see here a distorted masculine with the emperor energy in reverse. So, we could be done with a twin flame connection, 
okay um whoever this person is okay they're connecting with their higher self and they're using their intuition uh about the coldness um now this could be their energy towards you okay you could be dealing with an aries um but what i'm seeing here is that um you know there was like a, a stagnant energy this person uh, really wants to think um, about what their next steps are before they approach you. But right now, things are at a standstill. I really feel like you guys are having mind-to-mind -mind connection, telepathic communication, okay, things like that. So what is the outcome? Yeah, so there's there's a lot of deception here for what I can see with the Seven of Swords energy in reverse, also with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Swords. So your person is stressed, okay, that nothing is really working out. Why? Because nobody's opening up talking about the situation. This person came in as a friend, okay? They were always devoted to you, but, you know, why is this a one-sided love connection? Why couldn't uh, either you or them offer love in return? You know, your person is really trying to dig deep, you know, because this person is really pouring out with their emotions towards you. That's what I'm seeing now. Like I said, this could be you towards them, but um, they're really stressed, okay, that why nothing is ever working out for them. Somebody here is either not being honest or lying, okay? Um, I also see here that they, they took the time to really reflect on long-term. So this person is uh, definitely thinking about family, long-term goals, okay? This person is coming back. I really feel like this is six days to six weeks. That's what I'm seeing. So get ready. <laughs> get ready, Cancer. <laughs> what, what messages want to come through? You're all that I ever wanted. Oh my God. Like today is like a dreamy, a dreamy day because Pisces had a very similar energy. I miss the feel of you next to me. So you guys have met each other from before. Um, yeah, they want that closeness. You still hold a piece of my heart. Wow. And also, I don't think I can take your reaction right now. So somebody is holding back but they really want to let go of the situation they really want to open up the gates okay and really be raw and authentic with you um i really feel like maybe for some okay uh you have received like this kind of communication of the past but this is how they're feeling this person is a friend okay and i really feel like they want more than a friend with benefits energy you know um they want to be in a relationship with you but it's really up to you cancer if you want this okay it takes two right so what is the guidance Okay, you have two messages. We have Unag. Uh, easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So, Cancer, okay, um, you don't have to rush this, you know. Maybe, uh, you know, this could be, uh, you know, also for the cross watcher who's watching, you know, this is divine timed. I really feel like this is a twin flame connection. Also, we have home. Wow. Vesta, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. I really feel like there's some people that are leaving the house. This could be in your house. This could be in their house. Um, maybe uh, you guys are combining homes. That's for some. But um, there's definitely a shift in energy. Um, I really feel like whoever has a third party, that third party has to go. The energy has to go. And then th you can invite more love into the space. Um, take it easy. You don't have to rush this because divine time is such a beautiful process. And you're going to appreciate it more when it's not rushed. You have to have what? My favorite word, patience. Okay. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know.
Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me under IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. And this week until the 31st of March, uh, all of my private readings are on sale. So if you'd like to um, hone in on your divine counterpart, uh, whoever that you're watching this reading for, I can definitely look at your personal situation. And um, I also have other products on my store. Uh, this week we have uh, the Virgo full moon, which happens on Friday. And so if you order any kind of, um, you know, uh, accessories such as bath salts, uh, the feather wands, okay, which I have a beautiful collection okay in my my store okay you can go ahead and check it out i also have sage wands and everything okay to cleanse your space for this full moon and so the idea behind the full moon is about manifestation uh if you want to clear out your space and remove the old uh definitely cleanse your space okay um to clear out the old energy so that you can bring new energy uh, into your surroundings and so i really hope that this reading was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye